my friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. Today I will explain how to import some resources or some files in general from another quest to your own quest. And when I say from other quests, um, we have also these resource packs on the official uh, Solaris website that you can download if you go to development resource packs here you can choose across uh, what is available and we have some Zelda things currently and we have one uh, free resource pack with creative common assets so we'll use this one as an example today uh, probably in the future we'll have more of the of these um, yeah so I'm gonna start by downloading the resource pack so what is a resource pack? It's exactly, technically, the same thing as a quest, as a Solaris project, except that you cannot play it. It's just a collection of files. You cannot play them, but you can use them to uh, import resources from the pack into your own project. Okay, so I just downloaded this zip file. Extract. Okay, good. So I have it here. It's a data folder and some information about the pack. Um, and the data folder again is exactly the same thing as a, a normal quest, except that if you try to play it, it it will not work. But you can open it in the quest editor. However. Uh, what I want to explain today is not how to open a resource pack, but how to import files from the resource pack into your own project. So uh, we will keep your project open here and do instead file import from a quest. And here we can import from either a regular real quest or from a resource pack. Uh, so the first time you open this import dialog, you have to choose the source quest loca location so by clicking this browse button here so here it's already the correct path because i just recorded the same tutorial in french <laughs> so just select your uh, resource pack here and click open okay here it is so on the left you can see the quest tree of the source quest and on the right, it's the quest tree of, of your quest, the destination quest. And how does this work? Uh, you can, for example, let's assume that you want to add another tile set to your destination quest. Because um, the quest we created in the first very first tutorial when we did file new quest is a default quest with a bunch of resources all of these resources are actually, uh, yeah, they all come from the free resource pack. So it's a subset of the free resource pack. We have a, a few tile sets, but not all tile sets. For example, uh, let's say that we want to add this one, the, the Zoria tile set. So I can select multiple files here and I can just click import to import them. And it will automatically copy the files to the same location in the destination quest. There we go. The Zoria tile set. Uh, so two files were copied in my destination quest. And that's pretty much it actually. We can see the tile set here. We can open it. Um, so what's the benefit of using import from a quest rather than just uh, copying the files by hand. It's actually almost the same thing. The only new additional thing that was done when I imported uh, by clicking the button here was that uh, I also copied I, I, yeah, the metadata of the tie set of my two new files so I didn't lose the author and license information. So 
is very important, of course, when you import resources from another project or from a resource pack to respect uh, the initial ownership and, and, the, and the license. The second thing is that the tileset was automatically registered into the project. Because uh, if you remember our previous tutorial, if you have a file uh, that looks like a tileset but is not added to the project, it would show up with an interrog interrogation mark icon here. And you would have to, to add it by right click add a tileset to the project. So it's a small thing, but it's very handy, especially when you want to do a lot of when to when you want to import a lot of resources uh, all at once. So you can import tie sets, sprites, scripts, yeah, um, pretty much anything you want. Uh, musics, and you can listen to to the musics here before you import them. If you click right click and play, or if you double click. So in this resource pack, currently we have all sorts of, um, let's say, resources with very incompatible styles. You will probably not uh, mix 8-bit um, style music with 16-byte uh, music or instrumental music. Right now we, we have various resources uh, in, in this single pack. Uh, probably later we'll split it to, to have multiple packs that will, that will be more consistent. Same, you will probably not mix uh, this 8-bit uh, style sets with, with these ones in the same project. Uh, yeah, but that was just to, to give you an example. Another nice feature of this import dialog is that it can automatically find what is missing in the destination quest. So if you select a source folder here and click identify missing, it will automatically select uh, any file that is present in the source quest and not in the destination quest. So then you can import it if you want. If your quest is based on, on the resource pack and you want to make sure that you have everything, you can use this. Um, currently, it will not detect if, um, let's say, some file has changed in the source folder. It will just check that um, a file with the same name and the same directory path exists uh, in the destination quest. Support for um, updates, updated files will be added in a future version of Solaris. And yeah, the second limitation, as I was explaining before, is that the path should be the same. So if you decide for some reason to rename a tile set, let's say you hate the name outside and you want to rename it to Outdoors. OK, it works perfectly. It was renamed. But then when you use the import feature, the import dialog will consider that um, the outside tile set is missing in the destination quest because it was renamed, actually. So that's why, that's why I would recommend when your request is based on a resource pack to keep the same uh, names and the same path. Um, OK, I think that's it. If you have any question about importing files from other projects or from resource packs, feel free to join our Discord, and we will be happy to help. Thank you all for watching. And that's all for now.